Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song by Duran Duran called Hungry Like the Wolf. And it starts around an E major chord, and the way you play E major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like E major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And actually, one way you can kind of work your intro, actually, is just kind of staying on that E major chord. But there's a really cool lick at the very, very beginning where you play the low E and kind of do it down on your chord, and then do that again. So we got low E bass chord, and then you go second fret on the G string, and then first fret on the G string, second fret on the D, and then back to second fret on the G, and then first fret on the G, and then second fret on the D. So you got low E bass chord, bass chord, and then two, one, two, two, one, two. G sharp E, A, G sharp E. So you may want to try and play around with that too. But a lot of times to make a song like this a little bit more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite 4-4 four -four strum patterns for a song like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the E and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And so look, you could just kind of use that for, for your intro. And then when we get to our verse, we end up doing the E major four times. And then after we do the E major four times, then we're going to be going to a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger on the high E on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that'll get you your clear sound with that. And that's called D major, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the D major, we're going to be going right back to the E major chord. And we do another E major. So we tried that with our strum pattern, and then we have E down, up, up, down, B down, 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 up, up, down, B down, 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 down, up, up, down, up. And then we get to our chorus part. Our chorus actually kind of starts on a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first fingers are going to go to the B string on the first fret, second fingers are going to go to the D on the second fret, and third finger goes to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And when we play G major, first finger is going to go to the A on the second fret, second finger is going to go low E on the third fret, and third finger on the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to be going to an F major. We'll talk about a really easy way to do this, but if you know the bar F major, you do your first finger across the entire first fret. Second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Uh, but if you're just starting out or you just want to avoid the bar chords, actually, another way to play that or, or a good substitute for F major is F major 7. And the way you play F major 7, first finger is going to go to the B on the first fret, second finger on the G on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, then that sounds like F major 7. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the F, we're, we're going to be going to a B flat major chord. Um, and the way you play a B flat major, actually, there, there's an easy way and, and kind of a bar way. But the way you normally play B flat as a bar is your first finger is going to be in, on the first fret as a bar. The second finger is going to go to the D string on the third fret. Third finger on the G string on the third fret, and the pinky on the B string on the third fret. And if you try and strum all those together, that's one way you can play the B flat major. But another way, I know for myself actually it feels better to do that as a double bar by taking the first finger and leaving it as a bar on the first fret, taking third finger and kind of bar it over the D, G, and B strings to kind of get it as a double bar. But if you're just starting out or you want to avoid the bar chords entirely, you can actually make a smaller version of the B flat by taking the high strings and just playing those individually. So if you wanted to, you could take first finger and, and play high E on the first fret, third finger on the G string on the third fret, and the pinky on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the top three or the top four strings, then that's still a B flat major. And if you 
you're slightly more adventurous, you could get your second finger to kind of add in on the D string on the third and kind of make that a little bit bigger. So those are all different ways you can kind of play the B flat major, and that sounds really happy. And then from, from the B flat, we're going to go back to C major, and then G major, and then we do the F, but then we go to D major. So we're going to try our chorus with our strum pattern. We'd have the C down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, up, F down, down, up, up, down, D flat down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, up, F down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, up, F down, down, up, up, down, D flat down. where you got just a big major at the end of that, that first chorus. And then we're back into our verse part. And you could even just kind of enter that with that lick. That bass chord, bass chord, two, one, two, two, one, two. Or you could just kind of do that with the strum pattern. But another thing that I like to add to, to uh, a strum pattern like this to make it even more interesting is bass notes. And one thing you could do is substitute that first down we're doing over all the chords with a bass note. So for instance, like on the E major, you could do your low E for your bass, and then do your down, up, up, down, up after. So you got E with the low E bass, down, up, up, down, E with the low E bass, down, up, up, down, E with the low E bass, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then when we get to our D chord, then you actually have the D string for your bass on your D chord. So D with the D bass, down, up, up, down, D with the D bass, down, up, up, down, D with the D bass, down, up, up, down. And then for our C chord, we're going to have the A string for our bass. So C and A bass, down, up. twice and then second fret on the on the D. So you're going E E E E E and then we go second fret on the G for a bend. And then there's kind of some some space there. And, and then we go third fret on the B string for a bend and kind of do a couple more. 
And then there's this really cool keyboard lick where you come in third fret on the B, and then open D, and then fourth fret on the D, and then second fret on the G. But then we go back to that third fret on the B string for some more third frets. I'm kind of doing that bend, kind of pressing up and into the guitar at the same time to kind of get that sound. And then it almost sounds like you take second fret on the G string and kind of do a slide to the open G. So we got two slide to open. And then there's kind of just some open Gs. And then it almost sounds like you go to fifth fret on the G for three notes. And kind of do a slide from there. And then when we come out of that break, then we go into our chorus again. And actually that's kind of our outro too, is just our, our last chorus. So we can do that with the down, down, up, up, down, where we got the C down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, B flat down. I would think about adding to this because of the feel of the tune, and actually you really have to work on this to get this up to speed, is working something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is right now our down, down, up, up, down is, is, is actually kind of dividing your foot tap or your beat into two parts, and that's called an eighth note. So one, two, one, two, one, two. But what a 16th note is, is where you divide that beat into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and that's called a 16th note. And what I think can be a lot of fun to work with the tune is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is like if you take the E and do a down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. On the second beat, you'd be doing down on one, down on three, up on four. So you'd have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, down. Up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, 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 one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the strum pattern, so or right along with the numbers. So like one, two, three, four, down, up, 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 down, up. So all together, you got long down. note pattern. So you could take the E major and do the low E bass, down, down, up, up, down, 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 Like I said, 
sudden you really have to work on that to get that up to tempo. Like on the verse, you'd have a... But, but that's the, the basics of how you could strum through Hungry Like the Wolf by Duran Duran. So good luck!